What's up guys, this is uh, DoD Fox and DoD Jolly Man. We're here to do some Game of the Week um, castings so that we can actually um, start uploading some new videos to our YouTube channel and um, bring some high level games just to the, the spotlight of the community. So, first game that we're going to be looking at today is going to be a game between Jolly Man, who is casting with me as I already said, and another clan member um, in DoD, uh, Chaos is back. So, yeah, there's only, okay, I'm going to start it in, uh, three, two, one, now. Cool, are you going to jam that play fast from the start? Nah, let's, let's do a little bit of an okay. intro without play fast, I guess. Um, so, GNA. you've got Jolly Man taking Isis, actually. You're the raw specialist, as I like to say, but... You always tell me that you can play all the gods, and I'm starting to agree with you the more that I see you play these days. Um, we've got Isis, Jolly Man, and Chaos is taking Thor. And this was a really cool game. I've I've just been really watch enjoying watching Chaos recently because he's been like super good recently in terms of his improvement. Just leaps and bounds. This guy's beating like expert level players uh, pretty handily. Like big name players like Berserker, Sensui, like. It's pretty incredible what this guy's doing. Um, so here we've got the two playing against each other on Tundra. And, um, yeah, um, so right, right now I'm at 50 seconds. What are you at? Sure. I'm a little you bit ahead. I started a little bit early, but that's okay. You'll, you'll probably catch me up all right, when cool. you jam it and play fast, so it's all good. So I guess I can um, do play fast until we hit classical age. I'm going to do that now. Yeah, that, that sounds In Yeah. So pretty standard play so far. Um, Jolly going for his uh, build order that I don't agree with, where he puts uh, three on gold to start and makes the monument before he gets wood gatherers. But that's fine, you know. It, it works for him. Okay, well, I, I clearly forgot that. Yeah. I'm gonna put the fog of war back on. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You went Anubis. Okay, so I'm stopping play fast right now. I'm at 5:25. So you can see Jolly is going for some harassment with his pharaoh and three priests, and also his Anubite. And Chaos has got some really nice walls thrown down over here. He did so well here. I was really impressed with his um base layout here. Like, um, especially this Egyptian, this is super good because I can't kill those buildings that effectively yeah. and Egyptian isn't looking and to kill weed. those buildings, so protecting the hunter is so nice. Immaculate building placement. And weed. Um, and yeah, it's weed. Real good. <laughs> Chaos has been, um, dare I say, learning from me when it comes to placing buildings. Like, he, he said that that's what that's something and he weed. said is that I have immaculate building placements become somewhat of an inside joke because Great. just that Benito. language is kind of ridiculous. But yeah. regardless, he's got his houses and, the, and that wall placed really nicely and the temple. And so my, you're sort of Great. walking around right Great. now with this Anubite and Great. the priest. You were able to get a couple hits w on the Herser and the whatnot. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I basically got to the point where I realized I couldn't do much damage. Um, In which? So I got out of there, but... Yeah, yeah, and then I you're think. you're getting out of there with no eco ups, and he's got pickaxe and hand axe, but he is largely confined to his base. You never pushed him off hunt, though. I should add, he once you pulled back, he was still gathering from that uh, caribou in the back there. Greek, yeah. In which. In which. yeah, I didn't have enough vision to to do anything uh, extra there. I didn't feel, and it got to the point where it was like, well, he's still on hunt, so I'm just gonna get out. And to yeah, and that's gonna hurt me. So yeah, what's what's going through your mind right now when you didn't really get a lot of hits on him in the early classical age? Are you thinking like I'm gonna switch to a boom so that I can stay ahead of him? Like, cause that's a really dangerous game when you've got a Thor player in the game because they, they can obviously just go to rag. Um, yeah, basically I was Inito. just like, well, I didn't manage to do much damage, but I've got two monuments up. And I've still got fun, so I can just use a lot of anti-bites. Feel the jackal. Um, <laughs> yeah, while uh, trying to just get the map. And, and, and basically, at that gold mine by the forward town center with the aurochs, I was like, that's something I kind of want to grab. Oh yeah, definitely. In which? 
Gehrig. So I'm at 7.30 right now. You're and still Dio. chilling on the um, the elk over to the right side. And he needs Eric. Basically just defending um, his he need to. sort he of need weakened to. Um, raiding cavalry attacks right now. He's not getting a whole lot done. In which... I'm gonna put it in play fast until something interesting happens. Into you. Get it. Alright, so it looks like you're going to take the forward town center right Inito. now. And we You've got a sort of small army watching over your back as your villas try to claim Get it. it. And that is a really nice town center to have. It puts you in a pretty good forward position to um, be relatively aggressive. Not sure why yeah. Chaos is um, running down the right side right now with a troll and a couple throwing axes. Not Into really a, a good raiding army. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and you're throwing down an army right now too, so... A little bit early. I think it's going to be a while until you're able to go heroic if you're only grabbing your second TC right now. In which... Yeah, it's always Rig. nice to have the armory up. It only takes one villager to make it. It's true. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, chaos. Chaos goes for a real risky, risky hunt up there, right? Eh? Uh, yeah, he does. He's going down there right now, and he does these really weird raids with raiding cavalry. Like he he won't send a Valkyrie al along with them, so that he has no line of sight basically. And then he just. In what? I don't know, like the guy has amazing mechanics and. Um, He's really good at managing his army and his units and all that, but he just he just can't see anything Inwich. with his raiding cavalry raids, and he they never kill anything either. So I sort of question whether those it's worth it for him to continue doing that. Gehrig. And right now it looks like Jolly Man is um, pushing Chaos off that risky forward hunt we were just talking about. Takes out the troll and uses the anybuts to push them back. Inito. And Chaos comes forward with what looks like his full army. Into and which? And which? What time are you at in the game right now? Um, I'm at 1059. So you guys? Yeah. So you're you're just yeah, going just for this fight right play now. Fast till we get to 12 minutes or something. Oh. Not lots gonna happen. I don't think. I'm you at, got her up quite quickly though. I'm at 12 minutes now. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Greek. I wonder if we would be able to somehow link up these recorded games. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's a way. If we, I don't, I don't really know. know how. Like the only way I could think we do it is like if you were to like share screens on Skype or No, that would suck. But what might work yeah. is if we played games on Extended Edition and you load a saved game while you're online and, and have the other person go Observer. Great. That might work. Image into you. Can we play these games through EA? No, not these ones. That sucks. Yeah. But if you have like, EE in the future, we can do some castings on EE, EE games so that we don't have to deal with this um with all these issues with um, lining up the time and whatnot. Yeah, it's not too big of a deal. Okay, so you're up Nephthys right now, and you're just sort of harassing his army with anti-bites. I'm at 13 minutes. In which? Wait. Okay, so this is... This is an interesting part where you do the defense against flaming weapons with both ancestors and plague of servants. Yeah. And you defend that you defend that shit really well. I was surprised. I was like, I came off all right. I'm actually gonna watch this and see what happens, like micro wise. I decided to uh Go, go a little bit retarded by any bites at the start. 
No oh, man, he's just killing it right now. He's just shoveling in, throwing axemen, trying to make the most of his slamming weapons. That is the one of the most difficult things to do with someone who's learning how to play Thor or Loki, is learning how to use flaming weapons effectively. Like, yeah. it's so much... I feel like you need McDowell units, and he had um, health fort units. I feel like he had a lot of time to uh, get health fort units yeah. up before that flaming weapons. 14 minutes into like, the game. I'm gonna yeah, switch like, over to his point of view. Was up like 11 something. Skip. I think this was his biggest mistake, really, was just not having Skip. health fort units for this attack. Yeah, he didn't even make a health fort, actually. I just... Yeah, because yeah. if he had had it, like, a health fort on his forward yeah. tank center, and even if he, like, passed yeah. flaming weapons to a full Ten basic win. army, when his army starts dying and Jarls and Huskars start being pumped in, and that's really, really tough to deal with. Yeah. I'm gonna turn up your volume one more time. I think you're still not so quite good. as loud as yeah, I'd like you to be. Sounds of the battle boards, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. A bit loud. That should be better. <sighs> Yo. Well, we'll figure this out. Um, we're really still determining whatever the best settings Tilbuin. are for this. But I think Tilbuin. in the future we'll have a lot of really fun rec analysis games for people to watch. I really hope you stick around for it, dude. Seriously. I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> yeah, it could be fun. Um, yeah, okay. it's good that like we got that rec uploader, man. So many people post it's sweet. Um, yeah, I mean, recorded we, games. We have like three times as much activity than RTS actually right, right now. It's sad, but at the same time, like, I it's think... It's good for us. Yeah, it's good for us. <laughs> so, uh, Chaos just took his third town center, and... Tilbuin. Now he's he's finally going for his first hill floor with a bunch of throwing action, Skip. and I'm at 16 minutes right now. Okay. I'll just skip forward a little. And he's going for some battle board raids on, on the bottom TC, not getting a whole lot out of it. You've got a shit ton of econ down there. Between the gold miners, the hunters, and the uh, lumberjacks there. Skip, skip! One of the things about Chaos that I've noticed is that he buys his armory upgrades so soon. And that's old school style with Thor. Really taking advantage of those cheap armory ups Jeez, and being able to research all of them within any um, age. Be it yeah. Like heroic or yeah. epic, whatever. I think that's one of Chaos's biggest improvements is yeah. um, his eco balance and constantly spending resources. Yeah, yeah. he keeps his he keeps his eco so low. Yeah, like his wood stockpiled a little bit now, but um, skip mm -hmm. His gold's kind of kept him, but yeah, he, Yo, he's, he's spending his resources so much better. And it snowballs really hard, like, you know, if you think about it. If you get an attack armory up, and, like, early on, and it saves you, like, four or five units compared to him, then that advantage just, like, gets bigger and bigger yeah. each time. Because you saved four or five units, so then you can get the heck up. I'm interested in why you chose to buy the, um... You bought the copper weapons armory upgrade first, rather than hack armor upgrade. Because I was valuing damage over um, surviving right now, because I've got three town centers and fill limit. Um, oh yeah, I guess you just want to try I, I and push him I'm back. I'm not too bothered if I lose army, because right now at this stage of the game, my thought process is like, I can lose my whole army three times over. But if he loses his army three times over with me, then his rag is so much slower. And rag's like his only chance of actually winning now. This is true. Yo. Yeah, so much of this matchup just comes down to rag. And you can already see you're winning the fight here at 1740. He's pulling back and I guess already transitioning Creator to rag. He's just spamming bills out of all TCs. Yeah. And his farm placement's still terrible. Well, it's, it's gotten better, but it's still, it's still pretty bad. I, I just can't let people get away with that. Tilbuin? I haven't played a team for so long, like it took me seven years to place farms effectively, but now that I do it, I, I never let anyone um, place them poorly without knowing, without them knowing about it. Yeah, my farm place is okay this game. It's a rush, but... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so I'm gonna get this third TC down, but uh, I'm pretty worried about Rag right now. I didn't think it would be because it didn't have flaming weapons, but 
I've actually lost to Ragnarok's um, like Odin when oh. when I'm at this stage in the game, and it's like, oh god. <laughs> Dude, Odin's rag is dirty because you can pull the units back, and they can all heal up before you before they attack again if you're not able to end it with the first attack. Escape on, escape on. Right, yeah. He does have healing spray. It can be quite handy if you put it in the right place. Really early game. Yeah. So this was another pretty big mistake for me right now. What, when what I'm taking that? his his third, I'm not really prepping for rag at all. Like I've only got two barracks up, and I'm not even making axemen right now. You don't have masons. Yeah, I don't do. I don't have anything. Yeah, actually. Wait, I think when his rag doing? comes up, I have architects by the what time his rag actually gets to me. <laughs> actually, though, mm -hmm. like your gold is so exposed. You have one gold yeah. line by your back TC. And then the other gold mine that you're gathering from is way off the fuck in the middle of no in nowhere. Like, as soon as you lose that yeah. forward TC to his rag, you're going to be completely exposed to and Exactly. Like, he, he almost Into won you. just from go. Um, keeping me off of gold. Yep, and you are scouting the sides with in chariot which. archers right now, looking, go. hoping you can pick off some vills. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Oh, maybe. You just found, uh, 1930, you found some gold bills in the top right corner. Yeah, we're at the exact same time now. Sweet. Classic. In which? In which? In in which? You. And you've got all your eco-ups, that's I guess what you were doing. Rather than making towers and buying masons, you were buying eco-ups. Arguable decision <laughs> at this point in the game. In which? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit dodge. Yeah, and now he's... <laughs> dodge. He's got bronze shields, bronze mail, and bronze weapons. He's yeah, he goes ham with eco ups this point in the I mean um, armory ups this point in the game. Yeah, they were super strong. Isn't there was one wee piece? like skirmish off to the side when I watched um the wreck earlier on and uh his uh his regular has pounded my ass and I was like, Oh damn <laughs> Into Into And now he's just garrisoned all of them. <laughs> All of those bills in, in his Go. actually center, pushing chaos off of gold right there, even though I didn't kill anything, stops him making fire giants. Here's and the he balder. He's rag with two two hundred ninety two unit er, population right now. Paused it so the record could see that. And there you are. You're like, oh, I've got two war oh. elephants in the siege towers. Maybe I can take out the TC before he reaches a mythic. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> you wish. Yeah. Think again. And you're starting to get more Yo. armory ups on your army, but again, not that important, I think. So I'm going to switch back to your point of view. You are buying ar architects right now. Way behind the ball on that one. <laughs> yeah. I like the uh, forward building placements around your forward TC, like the racks and the migdol. That's going to help you a lot when you're trying to defend this, but they're probably just going to get shredded. Oh, man. That is three like large groups of 30... 30 Heroes of Ragnarok coming straight for your forward TC. In in yeah. And I'm not sure where your Axemen are. Oh, Good. they're not even medium Axemen yet. Okay. So you're fucked at this point in the Good. game. In which. Yeah, a little bit in denial. <laughs> the Ragnarok <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets this honest, bug. I could have just had a, a small trade going from like that back corner to my hometown center. Even if it's only like 30 gold, it's still gold income. Yeah, it has. Gary. And yeah. In which. So now you've got medium axe, man. We're at 2145. And he's sending all his rag heroes down to your safe gold mine. Your relatively safe gold mine. And you're sitting at like 11 gold right now. In so it's not like you have a lot to um, fall back on. Yeah. Banking like a couple of K gold before rag is so good. Because he's putting like a wave of mercs out. Pretty much kills the rag heroes. Yeah, so helpful. Oh wow, he's dealing a lot of damage right now. And another thing I really like about Chaos's play is the longhouse placement that he uses to building block, basically, pathing. So that he wrecks a lot of uh, those as they're trying to run away. Yeah, it's frustrating. Yeah. 
Yeah, he managed to get iron mail and iron shield. It's like, what the fuck? That's almost a magic armory up. Yeah, because how much Mr. Axeman get? Like, as a hundred percent? No, it's three hundred percent, isn't it? It's like retarded amounts or four hundred. Into yeah, it's retarded. Right. So Both, you're at eighty-one. Yeah. You're at eighty-one pop. Meanwhile, he's at one hundred ninety-six. Yo. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. I mean, I'm Yo. not gonna spoil the ending, I guess, but. Skip. Yo. Maybe I just did. Anyway. Yo. Um, it looks like he. He's, his, obviously Yo. his objective at this point is to stop you from getting gold. Like, he sees all the gold mines on the map. He knows that you don't have a trade room. Yo. What, and, he, and he's sitting on 2k food, 1k wood. Skip. Like, what is he gonna do? He's not even queuing bills up at his TCs. I'm not sure why that's happening. Tilpool. Tilpool. Actually, at 23 minutes, Chaos sends like a group of rag heroes into that back corner. He should have sold some food, Hillboin. and he should have just built two hill forts there, and then walled across, and then just done Skip. fire giant ballista on my back down center. That would have been nice. <laughs> so it looks yeah, like it would have wrecked me yeah. actually. He found your little gold mining camp um, that you tried to switch to Hillboin. with those um, with at 23 minutes, Skip. 23 and a half minutes with those rag heroes that he sent over. But they're gonna get taken out by those axemen you have. I think they actually kill the Axemen. This is the way Skirmish I was talking about. Yeah, oh, yeah he had right. so many armor ups. Yeah, they're Fyrir nasty. Fyrir Fyrir thar. Thar. Oh, wow, I traded pretty hard. Like, going one for one versus Rag is fine. And right now, he's at 105 pop, and you are at 91 pop. Into so, like, somehow you've managed to stay in it. You still have no gold. But you're spamming vills from all your town centers, and probably, I'm assuming, selling a fair amount of food and wood. I think so. But then, you, but then you lose all of these gold miners. Oh man. <laughs> Nothing you can do there. Okay. Good. And your In army which. consists of uh, four chariots and six heavy axes. In which? Into you. That's Into something, you. I guess. And he... Dude, he literally... Oh, he just started making vills again. Once he's already 40 pot below the limit. I think that's a huge mistake on his part. Yeah, because he had a lot of resources back. He did, exactly. Well, I don't know why he... Yeah. I think he was just too focused Yo. on controlling his army, but then he had, like, nothing. So I'm at 24 and a half. Right now. Yeah, he could have set up a front switch because there's only two gold mines Yo. for me to take. Yeah. And if he splits his rag in two yeah. on Yo. both those gold mines, Fyrir if he had hill forwarded both Fyrir those gold mines, I oh, think man. he would have won this. Dude, even like because he had so much food and wood, he Fyrir. needed to make a mark out on the left corner of the map and start doing up caravans. And he also. I would have, I would have honestly, if you don't have gold, like four trolls, do something, because you didn't have any priests, you didn't have Skip. gold for that. He just needed some kind of a yeah. meat shield that could take out the axemen, Skip. so that he didn't lose his rag here. And I think that was a crucial mistake here. Now we can see at 25 main he's at 65 pop, and Jolly is um, 118, so amid a comeback. And Chaos just does not have the ego to support himself, and we see that he resigns at the 25-18 mark. So, uh, this concludes our first uh, of hopefully many Game of the Week rec analyses, um, hosted by myself and DoD Jollyman. So, thank you everyone f who ends up watching this, and you can hopefully expect to Into see a lot more from us in the near future. Have anything else in to say, which? Jolly? No, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys don't have to watch my games. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you played really well here. I mean, as I said, Chaos has improved a uh, boatload recently, and you yeah, took it by the horns cool. right here. So In which? Well played by both players, and um, that's all for now. Peace.